In a world that values speed and instant gratification, the concept of waiting seems counterintuitive. Yet as believers, we know that our journey is not just about reaching the destination, it's about the transformative process along the way. So how can we find peace and purpose in the midst of waiting? How can we harness that stillness and how can it lead to personal growth, mindfulness, and a deeper connection with our faith? Hey everyone, my name is Kia Kistart. I work here on staff with the Calvary Partner Network. Yes, I know we live in a world of go, 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 yet waiting has become a seemingly unavoidable aspect of our daily lives. Whether it be waiting in line, waiting for a response, or waiting for the next chapter of our lives to unfold, these periods of anticipation can often evoke feelings of impatience, frustration, and restlessness. However, there is a transformative power hidden within these moments, the power of embracing stillness. Now, full disclosure, I'm horrible at this, but there are times that I am actually forced to wait, and maybe that's okay. I mean, right now we're potty training our daughter, and as frustrating as it is, I know that one day she'll just get it. Diapers will be a thing of the past, and this period of waiting will be over, with a new one inevitably taking its place. You see, the more we wish away the periods of waiting, the more we wish away periods of life. Let's pause for a moment and reflect on the beauty in the idea of a waiting room. It's not a place of stagnation. It's a sacred space for growth, refinement, and deepening our connection with God. In these quiet moments of waiting, we have the opportunity to draw near to Him, seeking His wisdom and guidance. Consider the life of Jesus during his time here on earth. It was in moments of great significance that he withdrew to pray and be alone with his father. The stillness of those moments fueled his ministry and strengthened his resolve. Similarly, our waiting periods can become a sanctuary for prayerful reflection. Sometimes I think God gives us waiting periods too to focus on people other than ourselves. I'm constantly driven to support and protect people that are close to me, my family, my friends, my coworkers, but not too often do I find it on my heart to pray or put effort into the people of this world. It's during these times I find myself being even more grateful for the health and wellness of those around me and appreciating this amazing community I get to call home. Please hear me. I'm not saying that embracing stillness is about idleness or more clearly, not just about idleness. It takes action to make the intentional choices to engage with God in the midst of uncertainty. So take time to read his word and pour out your heart in prayer. There's beauty in the stillness that goes beyond the absence of noise, almost as if there's a divine encounter with the one who holds our tomorrows. And if you're like me, you also most likely want to be in control of things. My excessive planning and multiple agendas ensure that at most times, I have everything under control. However, while waiting, we often feel a loss of that control, and it's in this instance that we yearn for an answer or a clear roadmap of the future. So it can be difficult. But remember, true faith is about surrendering our timelines to the perfect timing of our Heavenly Father. Trust that God's delays are not denials. They're opportunities for him to work behind the scenes, orchestrating a masterpiece that surpasses our human understanding. In the quiet moments of waiting, let's create a mindfulness rooted in God's presence. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the noise of this world, but in the stillness, we can find a refuge. Be convicted in the desire to disconnect from the chaos and reconnect with God. Let your waiting periods become a sanctuary where you are fully present with the one who is always present. And remember, embracing stillness requires patience. And not just any patience, but a patience grounded in faith. Faith that God is at work even when we can't see it. Faith that his promises are true. As we wait with patience, we grow in resilience, endurance, and a deeper understanding of his love. I always feel like January is such a stagnant month. All the year-end stuff is wrapped up, the holidays are over, it's usually cold, and it gets dark early. I find myself wanting to look forward to something. 
which is when I also find myself online looking at booking a warm getaway. But this year, in these moments, I think I'm going to resolve to curl up on my couch and remember that waiting is an important part of my journey as well. So my friends, if you find yourself in a waiting season, don't rush through it. Embrace the stillness. Trust that God is working in ways beyond your comprehension. In the waiting, discover the beauty of communion with him and let your faith deepen as you find peace in the pause.